What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse Black Manta from the Aquaman movie. Here we do have Black Manta in the packaging. Really excited I have this figure in hand. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get them open up, and then we'll have a better look at Black Manta. So stay tuned everyone. And so here we have Black Manta posed and out of the packaging. Now before we have a look at Black Manta, let's actually take a look at what he comes with. Black Manta does come with the final two pieces for the Trench Warrior. He does come with not only the head of the Trench Creature, but he also comes with the torso. So having all of him put together, we'll have a look at him after we've had a look at Black Manta here. As far as Black Manta goes, he does come with one accessory. He does come with a sword, and it's a really nice accessory. I do like the detailing on it. It's a short sword. It has a little trident on the pommel of it, so it looks really good. And he holds it really well in his right hand. He doesn't hold it in his left hand because, like with all the other figures, he has a fist for the left hand. The only issue I have is that he has no real place to store it in. It is quite a little bit of an issue because if you don't want him holding the sword, you got nowhere to put it and it might get lost. But other than that, he's still an impressive looking figure. So what we're going to do now is actually take a closer look at Black Manta's details. And so here we have a closer look at Black Manta. And as you can see, he is an impressive looking figure. Now there's really not too many Black Manta figures that I don't like. In fact, all the Black Mantas that I own, I absolutely love them. And for a good reason, Black Manta is such a stark character in contrast to a lot of other characters that you see. I really do love this dome that they gave him. I'm really glad that his costume is just straight black, that there's no silver on it. I don't know, I think the silver dome kind of does take away from it, but the black dome really does highlight a menacing look. And despite being an all-black figure, there is some contrast in the blacks. You can see around the lenses right here is a glossy black, as well as the top of the dome is glossy, while everything else is more of a matte finish. Really loving the eyes. If I have one complaint, it's that the red could be a little bit brighter, but... Overall, I'm really loving the detailing on his helmet. It looks phenomenal. Can't get over how impressive this figure is. He is wearing what appears to be some battle armor right here, and it looks fantastic. You can see some tubes running from the back, going or from the front going into the back, and then we also have them running from the back going into the front, and it looks really nice. We also do have a tube that comes down from the left side all the way into this forearm and he has a blade on this side really cool I do love the that little blade accessory you can see he does have a jetpack here on his rebreather I'm gonna guess that this is his rebreather because I don't know how it would work with the helmet but it is what it is he is wearing somewhat of a utility belt and that's kind of cool that Black Manta is actually wearing a utility belt there. Again, you can see some of that glossy black going down his costume, so I do love that. And then we also get some more jet boosters right here on his calves. There's just so much little detailing on Black Manta that it's really hard to point it out. And again, right here on his forearms, you can see that glossy black and then the tr transition into the satin black or matte black. We also do get some red lighting right here. It doesn't light up but if you hit it against the lights just right it does shine so it is somewhat of a glossy red. So overall just really blown away by this figure's detailing. So overall that's Black Manta for you guys. So what we're gonna do now is actually take a little break, get Manta posed and then we'll have a quick comparison with a few other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have Black Manta posed next to a DC Multiverse Superman and a Marvel Legends Cyclops. Here we have Manta posed next to a DC Universe Classics Black Manta and the DC Essentials Black Manta. And finally here we have Black Manta posed next to the movie Aquaman. And with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at Black Manta's articulation. Now for starters, mine is a little bit wobbly 
especially right here in the pelvis. You can see he does wiggle quite a bit. It doesn't make him any harder to stand, but it is just something to note that mine will have a tendency to lean to one side depending on where the weight is distributed. But with that out of the way, let's look at his articulation. Now, he does have a dumbbell joint in the head, which can let him look down pretty good and then bring his head back up. He really can't look back because his rebreather backpack does get in the way, so you are limited to just looking down. He does get some side-to-side -side head tilt, which is pretty good. And for the first time in Black Manta history, his head does a full 360. There's no tubes connecting the head to the backpack, so we do get some rotation right there, so I do like that. His arms are on a ball joint. They do go out to about there. They do a full 360. You just got to watch out for his backpack because it does get in the way, especially with these thrusters. And then he has a tube from the back going into his arm. So there is that. that it might pop off on you, but it does peg right back in, and we'll just leave that out for the sake of the review. He does swivel at the bicep single jointed in the elbow, not quite 90 degrees, and he does have some rotation in the elbow. We do get a swivel and a hinge in the wrist, which work pretty good. An ab crunch that goes back and forward, waist swivel. Legs do go forward quite a bit. They go back. They go out a lot. I really do like seeing when figures can do the split. He has rotation in the thigh. He is double jointed in the knee, although that's as high as it can get up because his calf is so bulky because of this booster. He does have a hinge in the foot which goes back forward and rotates. And then we also do get some rotation right here in his boosters. So you can have him jetting forward, uh, going up, going down, however you want to have those posed, you can. So overall, a lot of good articulation here on Black Manta. So what we're going to do now is get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have Black Manta posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do love this Black Manta figure. If anything, every Black Manta figure that I've been getting recently has just piqued my interest for the character even more. And this figure is no different. This is a really gorgeous looking figure. If anything, I believe he's actually my favorite out of the line. I really do love comic book Aquaman. Mira is an okay figure as well as the Ocean Master, but Black Manta here is a masterpiece. Compared to a few other figures that we've seen by Mattel, this is a home run of a figure. The detailing is great on him, the articulation could be better, but for what it is, it's really good on this figure. If you can find Black Manta in stores, I really do recommend you pick him up, especially if you're a fan of Black Manta like I am. If you can find Black Manta in stores, he is going to run you about $20 with tax, which does come about to $22. I was lucky enough to actually score my Black Manta as well as the rest of the Aquaman figures off a friend on Facebook who managed to get these guys for me for 20 bucks each so I only paid $80 for the set. If you can find Black Manta in stores like I said definitely pick him up you don't want to miss out on this figure. And with that being said guys I'm King of Dragons 5000 don't forget to like this video leave a comment subscribe to my channel go check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other DC Multiverse videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments, and if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.